Did you know there was going to be a Trigun video game? The video game, aptly titled Trigun, the Planet Gunsmoke, was based loosely on the manga and featured a number of established characters from the Trigun series. The developer, Red Entertainment, unveiled a 20-second clip from the proposed PlayStation 2 game in 2002 as a part of Sega's Game Jam video. Despite the promising teaser clip, the game was never released, and the only official statement on the status of the game was made by Sega simply saying, no comment. However, Red Entertainment would still produce a game that same year in the form of Gungrave, which, interestingly enough, was designed by Trigun creator Yasuhiro Naito. Though the details of the overlap between Gungrave's conception and the planet Gunsmoke's untimely end are unclear, the stylistic similarities of the two works have led many to believe the planet Gunsmoke game would have played much like Gungrave as a third-person shooter. Trigun has many connections to American westerns and the mythos of the open frontier. Trigun's setting, the planet Gunsmoke, takes its name from the American television series of the same name. Cities and settlements with names like Kansas, New Miami, and New Oregon work to give the series its Old West vibe and overall American feel. The aforementioned clip from the Planet Gunsmoke video game has a musical piece playing that is almost, if not identical to, the theme composed by Elmer Bernstein for the 1960 American Western The Magnificent Seven, directed by John Sturgis. Concerning Nicholas D. Wolfwood's Kansai dialect, Naito has been quoted saying, It's an English-speaking world, so he's not actually speaking Kansai dialect. Think of it as indicating some accent. Meaning artistically, Naito wanted readers and viewers to be that much more absorbed in the pseudo-American locale. Vash's iconic weapon, the AGL Arms Factory 45 caliber Long Colt, is a fictionalized take on the 45 caliber Colt Peacemaker revolver, which has long been heralded by many as the gun that won the West. The gun's unusual appearance can be chalked up to Naito himself looking at a picture of an upside-down gun barrel, thinking it looked cool and just going with it. These American-esque elements did not go unappreciated, as Trigun has received unanimous praise from Western audiences. Series director Satoshi Nishimura indicated this fact and expressed his gratitude for such fan support in an interview concerning the 2010 movie Badlands Rumble, saying, The support of the American fans was the impetus behind the movie, and because of such popular support, it was decided to create a movie, and the production companies finally began production. The positive reactions over the years are no doubt the result of the series' characters, composition, and gunslinger atmosphere. But the insertion of traditional Western values may also have played a role. Amidst its universal themes of the human struggle, Trigun has many Christian themes of redemption, good versus evil, and self-sacrifice. For many, these observations logically followed the impression that Naito himself was Catholic. However, this has come into question in recent years. When pressed about his personal views when promoting the movie, Naito replied he doesn't follow a religion, adding in, maybe I'm just a great guy, leaving fans to wonder if the author has since had a change in beliefs or if he simply chooses to keep such things private. Others question whether he was ever Christian at all, perhaps unintentionally becoming part of a general misconception or internet rumor due to aforementioned themes and morals being a major part of his work. Naito has included a number of unique Easter eggs and quirky references throughout the Trigun universe. The famous black cat that appears suddenly in every episode is called Kuro Neko Sama, or Lord Black Cat. At Anime Central 2007, Naito was asked, what's with the black cat? To which Naito replied with a grin, what cat? You must need your eyes checked. There isn't a cat in Trigun. Naito was also asked about Vash's strong love of donuts. To which he replied simply, I love donuts, as Vash admittedly takes after his more childish side in many ways. While Vash was an original concept as far as inspiration, Wolfwood was actually inspired by a musical source. According to Puff Magazine, Naito said Wolfwood's character design was based on the band Ulful's lead vocalist, Tortoise Matsumoto. At Anime Expo 2009, 
Naito talked particularly about the shape of Matsumoto's nose and joked that the audience may have noticed that he spent a lot of time sculpting Wolfwood's nose. An additional clue to the connection between the real-life band and the fictional priest may be found in the spelling and pronunciation of each in Japanese, which are very similar to one another. The band being Urufuruzu, and Wolfwood's surname being Urufudo. Finally, the name of the show itself, Trigun, hints at the fact that Vash always carries three different guns. His signature revolver, his prosthetic arm, which houses a gun, and his angel arm. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you also check out DidYouKnowAnime.net for all the latest facts and trivia on anime. And if you didn't recognize my voice, this is Jeff Nimoy, the English-speaking actor who played Nicholas D. Wolfwood. Speaking of Did You Know, did you know I originally auditioned for the role of Vash the Stampede, but the producers thought my voice sounded like I smoked cigarettes, so they cast me on the spot as Wolfwood instead. By the way, I don't smoke, and neither should you. I had a lot of fun narrating this Trigun webisode. I hope to meet all the Trigun fans at a convention near you soon. To find out about my appearances and projects, please keep up with me on the Jeff Nimoy anime pages on Tumblr and Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, at Jeff Nimoy. And if I'm not appearing at a convention near you, write to your local anime or Comic-Con convention and request me. See you soon, Needle Noggins.